Well, I hope you can hear me now. I forgot to put the microphone on. Oh, it's working. Oh, I've got my microphone. A bit of equipment onto my, onto my bod. There you go. Sorry about that. Yeah, I forgot to put the flipping microphone on. Hey, oh, say the V. That's what I'm like, isn't it, eh? Anyway, in this video today, and my, uh, my autofocus is jumping about. I don't want it to jump about. Autofocus is on. Should be okay. All right. In this live stream, um, I want to do the details on the door before I take it into the house. Because I don't really want to do it all in the house. So I'll do it all before I get in the house. I've already installed um, one of those posts. I've got to clean the other one up. But um, I've got that installed. I can't get any further with that until it's dry. Um, it's just too wet to work with properly. You know, I can't put the wax or do anything to make it pretty. I've stained it because it's water-based stain. And I put a couple of coats of stain on to get it dark. And I've attacked it with an angle grinder as well with the wire brushing to give it that texture. And it's looking good. It's looking good. It's sort of like mellowing into the its surroundings instead of looking just like a bit of old Douglas fir. Because all the other beams in the place are, are oak, you see, and chestnut. So I've just added some Douglas fir into the mix. You know, because that's what I've got. And it actually, it looks okay. I've, I've popped it in there. And what I've done is, with that particular post, to secure the top, I've literally put a dowel in, which is basically a broom handle in the top. Um, and so you've got, basically got two holes. Hole going into the wooden lintel, because the wooden lintel goes across the top. You know, just a very old lump of oak. And then you've got, the, obviously, the lump of wood that I'm putting in for a frame section. And so I've, I've drilled a hole in there, and I've drilled a hole in there to take the um, piece of broom handle, and it basically sort of stop, it locks the top in. It's like having a joint, a loose joint. So that way I'll prop it in there, and then I'm going to do two chemical fixed bolts right through the side to hold it to the wall. Because this door that we made is quite heavy. Because it's all oak, you see, it's old oak. So it's quite dense and quite heavy. So, should we have a look? Have a look what we've been doing. I think so. Is that one? Do, 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 do. Nope, not that one. Why doesn't that work? Oh, there you go. Not that one. That one. That's the one I want. Well, I've been playing about with the door. It's had a coat of stain. It's had its first coat of wax. And um, as you can see, it's, it's still a bit wet because wet, the wax is wet at the moment. But in this video, I want to play around with these. Yeah. Bit old, old rusty nails. <laughs> also, the latch mechanism. This is what you call Suffolk latch. Right? This is one that... A new one. I haven't got the handle, the arrangement there. Or have I over here? No, I haven't. There's a handle arrangement. The Suffolk latch basically goes right through. And the idea is you have what this on one side of the door and um, the handle part comes up and moves it off, off the latch. So it moves it off that. And it, okay, release the door. Well, the, this, is just, this is too new. It come from screw fix or something. I know it's covered in muck, but it's come from screw fix. So I'm gonna ha what I want to use is this one. It's old raw iron one. Yeah, it's all rusty. But look how it can look if you clean it up with a wire brush. I did that on the bench grinder, which I have over there. Um actually I could bring the bench grinder over here so I can show you actually it might be better instead. I've got oh I've got some more cameras coming. I've got two more cameras coming. Because I was so impressed with that other camera that I got the other day, I bought, bought two more because they're on special offer. I mean, they're ridiculously cheap. They're uh, 16 euros each. I couldn't believe what I saw them. And it was Lee Korn who, um, from the Snowflake show, recommended these particular webcams. And what's funny is probably better than this one I'm using here. And these things are nearly 100 quid. So um, I was re I'm really, really impressed with it. Um, it struggles with skin tones and stuff a little bit, but you can mess about with that. That's not a huge problem because you can do your... Um, temperature, skin, yeah, yeah, um, light temperature, uh, on, on, in the software, so it's not a huge problem. But anyway, so I managed to find all these bits and pieces up. I found a handle, I found the, um, looks like a shoe, I found like an escutcheon or a back plate. So that effectively goes on there like that, that goes on there like that, it goes right through the door, remember? And that, that goes on there like that, but it's because this was so corroded. And I actually released it from an old bit of wood by putting it in the fire. Burn off all the old wood. And, and then it's obviously just full of corrosion. Um, so I cleaned it up on the, on the wire wheel. But because of the corrosion, like the, the nut no longer fits or works. So I thought to myself, I know, I'll use my tap and die set. Um, I don't know if anyone's tried to tap and die something that's square. 
because that is actually square. So um, the idea you can tap and die that is, well, I tried. Well, I, I thought I tried before I came online, and it's just no, <laughs> no way. Uh, and the, cause what I've got to do is put a smaller um, bolt on there. Small than that, so small than that on there. There would be a way around it. I could, I could cut that off. I could weld on a fresh piece of um, bolt. All I'm going to do is, once this is through the door, because these are quite loose now. I mean, we've already got one of these in the house. Oh, on that other door I showed you in the pictures. So I'm going to put that on there like so. And then put that on there like that. Or, or wherever it goes. And I'm going to drill down the side. Once I know it's um, the depth of the door and how it's going to fit. And then I'm going to put a actual um, thing in it. A, a pin in it. Like a split pin. To hold it on. So I've already been over the wire brush a little bit with those ones. That one's got to be done with a wire brush. Let's move this out of the way because we can't. Well, I'll this bit. But um, if you look at the door at the moment, it's had it like say the coat of stain and a coat <laughs> and a coat of wax. Um, just one coat of wax at the minute. But also, in places where I want it look darker, I use boot polish. I know you can't get that so easily in the UK since um, Kiwi has decided to. Uh, no longer supply it in the UK, but you can still get it here in France. So that's one of the dovetails, another dovetail over there. Let's subscribe this airline. Hello, Wally. I've got my Wally dog with me. Uh, da -da 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 -da. So let's blow all that rubbish out of the way. Look, things like in here, where these little details are in here. Can you see that? No, you can't. Let's move the door a bit closer. Boom, 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 boom. I had it over there because I was using the edge of the bench. I've got, to, I've got to lump this into the house on my own, this door. So you've got that dovetail there, which is quite an interesting one, that one, isn't it? Quite cool. But what I've done is I used um, the boot polish. It still feels it's really waxy. I can prove it's waxy because if I sprinkle a bit of water on it, I've got the water. How about a bit of beer? <laughs> I've got water, actually. <laughs> but I'll try a bit of beer because it's there. If I spring a bit of water on it, it should resist. You can see, like, well, if you polish your car. And, um, yeah, you see this. So there's a wax on it. Now, how I've done my wax, to save wax, but also to save, um, over... I don't, I don't want loads of yellow wax stuck everywhere, if you know what I mean. Um, because that just looks, can, can look absolutely rank. Hello, Inga Laka. Good afternoon to you, not just sold us. Well, hello again from Portugal. 30 minutes before lunch break is over. Yeah, hey, hurry up, Marcus. <laughs> hello there, Marcus. It's Duke Vengeance. Hope you're well, buddy. Did he, did, did, did close that? And also got there. Moderation, it says there. Moderation. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to put in a load of old, load of old iron, load of old iron into the door. Totally pointless, apart from what's going to look cool. So um, I'm not worrying about the other side of the door. It's already got enough detail on the other side of the door. So you've got the rails and stuff like that. And it is looking pretty good, the other side is. Um, this side is what it is. <laughs> so all I did with my wax, I literally dissolved some. I've got, got another lump I just put in there in some white spirit. I know it's white spirit. I know a lot of people don't like using stuff like that. But you're not going to dissolve beeswax with... Um, with water, are you? It's not going to happen. So basically, I just painted this all over, splashed it over like that, you know, and then literally dragged it about with this old rag. And it's pretty much the same way I did the actual, um, oh, the, the dye as well. But with the dye, when I'm doing these bits down here, let's say if I want to wax all these bits down here, I'll get the airline. To make sure it go, it's going underneath. Otherwise, what happened is the mistake I've done. I've made this mistake myself set plenty of times. Is when these balls, you know, expand and contract. And if you've got an exposed tongue like these, quite big, you know, big loose tongues in there, they go quite wide. Um, the problem is you'll get a line. If these balls shrink, which they will in the summer, you'll end up with a stain line. You'll see like like, like lighter wood. So it just looked ridiculous. So you have to make sure you get it right in there. So I, I literally flow it in there, then use the airline and, and move it about. You know, a oh, big shave in there. All right, now, the other thing I've been doing, 
where you've got details like this. There's a big knot and a split. You can probably see that. You see that? So what? Let's get a picture big so I can see it. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, it did. Aha, that worked. Right. So basically, I'll get a bit of um boot polish like that. That bit I'm dissolved into dark and the wax. But um, I'll just you run it in. That's just like kiwi wax. Because uh, kiwi wax, you might not know this, but it, in most cases, the stuff I get here is actually um, beeswax with, with some sort of black pigment in it. I'll run it in there like so. Oh, my fingers. Look at my state of my hands. Terrible, that sort of thing. Do as I say, not to do. Wear some latex gloves. All right? And it gives a bit more depth. So you don't end up like, you can fill like nasty cracks like that. And they'll shrink back. So you still get the definition because the, um, the wax, you know, the, the solvent will evaporate in the wax. So, um, so I've got this, uh, kiwi here. That this is kiwi. This one is. So it doesn't say it's beeswax. What does it say it's beeswax? The one in France is actually beeswax. It just tells you how to use it. A blend of the finest waxes and solvents. This point is beeswax. I mean, silicon wax. I hate silicon wax. So you, you, you move to these little nooks and crannies like that. You can actually really soften and, you know, if you want to get really crazy, you can fill the whole thing if you want. But that will shrink back and crack if you go too, if you go too mad. So I'll just use brush, get in there. That's it. That darkens it all out. Darkens it all down. Ooh, so dark. Oh, if that's your thing. That's kind of all right. I want to age this, you see. I want it to look oldish. Like, you know, you're not going to make it look old until it is old. Although the wood is old. The wood is very old, in fact. Right, I'm going to... What we're going to do then... Not necessarily right in line with the rails, because the rails are about there. Because I don't want what I put in, in, put in interfere where my fixings are going to have to go with the hinges. And they're going to be going onto the actual rails themselves because obviously it's the best place to put them because you can secure the two boards together the rail and the board together using your hinges now i've got my hinges uh which are what have i, what have I done with my hinges oh have I, I i keep losing stuff i'm always losing stuff got wax all in my hands so let me just find my hinges there is a pair of hinges. oh I've, i think i've took them through the room actually I think I've already took them through into the kitchen. Yes, that's a silly thing to do because I've got a wire brush wall up. But I'm pretty certain that's what I've done with them. But I'm going to grab my um, bench grinder, which has got the wire wheel in. And I did a little sneaky thing with this. I'll go back onto the other camera, I can show you. Oh. No, that's not what I want. Dee, 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 dee. Oh, that's why, because I'm not on there. I need to get on that one up. Aha, yes, I am on there. Okay. Um, I made this bench, this bench gr grinder here isn't actually fixed down. I've made it so it fits into the slots in the bottom of my pillar drill. Which might seem, oh, by the way, I've got a camera that's going to be over here later. Yeah, so they're coming tomorrow, so that I'll have a bit of fun, uh, you know, doing what I do to... Uh, fix all them into place. Cables, cables, more blue and cables. Cables everywhere. But that's just like, these cameras are a cheap solution. They get, you know, even if they're not going to be permanent, at least I, I can get by with them. I bought three of them now. <laughs> but it will make quite a difference. Now you can do this angle grind or wire brush, and I don't recommend it because you, yeah, it's very hard to control. And you can get thin edges with the what if you've got wire brush and something that's thin, like for instance on the edge here, you can grab and pull it out of your hands and you can hurt yourself. It's a green wheel, and that's a sacrificial green wheel on that in that side. And that side has got a wire wheel that has well shrunk somewhat because I use it a lot, as you probably can tell. So let's put you back onto the other camera. There you go. So there's an old clout bench grinder. I've had this thing donkey's years, and I bought that in Norwich from Argos. I think it was £44 all those years ago. Stuff like that. I'm pretty certain about £44.95 or something. I don't think they're probably... Yeah, they're, they're not that expensive now. The little Clark one. There's a little six inches. That's, you know, had it such a long while now, so I can't really complain, can I? What we're going to do is we're going to clean that up. 
So it looks a bit like that one. And then we'll have to do something to stop it rusting. Don't touch the wire wheel with your fingers, it hurts. If I do that, I'll be like a snuff video. You don't want that, do you? Do you? But you'd love that, wouldn't you? Turn it off. So I walked the dogs last night after my stream with you guys. In late afternoon. I didn't realise it'd been snowing. It was white everywhere. But then we had a, like a freeze last night. It got us cold. And just, all the snow just turned into like ice. I could climb that down. Oh, that might be easier. Good idea. Da, 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 da. So, oh no, look what I've done! <laughs> Yeah, don't do that with your fingers, will you? You do need element of control, and you've got to understand what your wheels do. You will get lapses of concentration and do what I just did. I really do not recommend using an angle grinder to do this with a wire brushing. I know I use ang that you, the angle grinder with a wire brushing quite a lot with, like, for instance, um, wood. But you're on a flat surface. As soon as you've got anything that can grab, you can rip it out of your hands. My well, dad knows that. In fact, he's doing it with a oh, a sanding disc in a wire in a uh, angle grinder. I, think I, mean, I mentioned this before. An old hobby gem uh, fret saw machine, which I actually learned the fret saw on, scroll saw on, and it was um, a nasty chunk out of his hand. He did. That's the concentration. Now, if you don't do something with this, or just, you know, um... Oh, the rusty again. Especially if you live in a sort of damp house. Now, although my house is that bad, it's old, so you will be certain that damp. What you just you put clear lacquer on it, which we'll do in a minute. And that'll be going off while we do another stuff. No, I've said, I've uh, accepted that I'm not going to be able to get the Sharon finished before the missus gets back on Sunday. He knows already. There's too much to do. It started off with a bit of a water leak, and it started now I've got a new floor, well, water leak and a new floor. And now it's a new floor, um, a petty char tray out, it's got to have to dry out, a concrete, it's the anti char tray. Um, it just ended up being a much bigger job, and the problem is anything like that, it has to dry in between, doesn't it, you know? I'm not going to fit a char tray onto wet, damp concrete. The force, the force of the shard tray that we took out, we could put it's going back in again, and all that would do is sort of draw in the moisture into the porcelain, and you could damage the um, the ceramic, you know, the glaze from behind. I'm not about to do that. We could use the old, the, the new one, the newer thing. But I think this will look so much better. And we've got one of these in the house already, like this, like this. Not as long as it, this is really long. It looks more Suffolk latch. I don't know what they're called in France. Oh, latch. Probably in French. I want to think about the wooden one. 
you know. But the saw, in the winter, get used a lot. That's what it's convenient as possibly can. The thing about stuff like that is you, you can shut it on the latch so and it just snaps over the peak and it's just easy. Easy to use on a regular basis. The doors opening into the kit, uh, into the hall, and the face of the door will be in the kitchen. The thing about the faces is that even when the door is in the summer will be left open, you can see the face, aren't you? So you still want to look cool. Even though, you know, we're not removing the door, we're just going to have it left open in the summer. Some bits I might have to do with the angle grinder, which I don't really want to do. A bit of device. Oh, I'll get away with Right, some little bits on there I can't do with this. Not shifting it. I can't get I can't get it in around there, you see. So um I've got the angle grinder down there. So what I'll do is I'll put this in the vice. You could just wax these, but we're gonna lacquer them up. It just lasts longer. Put it in this. Oh, there's lights again. No, I haven't fixed my lights yet. Do they do 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 Mm, I don't know about that. We'll see. I want to look in keeping. When you do this, never stand like that when you actually use these. So it's got bits of little bits of metal, even bits of the actual um, wire wheel itself will fly into your face and stick into your face. So you don't want to do that. So you always stand to one side of it. That's one of them, uh, like, oh, one of them face head shield things would work, wouldn't they? Oh, I've got one over there, actually, from a lathe. Could put that on. I'm not going to. You see how it tries to grab and constantly trying to do that. That's why you don't really want to do it, you know. Um, I had both hands on, on the angle grind and trying to control it, but you've got to be really, really careful. Well, it's definitely better. Right in there. Let's put that in there. I normally put my metalwork device, but they're in the camera there. Get up 
Probably do. Yeah, I'll do. Man, I love you. That. That's beautiful. Look at that. Someone's played with that. It's a hot old piece of iron and bashed the hell out of it on a on an anvil to get that get this shit. This is all one piece. All that is one piece. Yeah. The only bit that isn't is the actual knob itself. But that's all been forged. That one piece of steel. But just constantly with a a bigger version of it, like a ball pain hammer like that, one, bigger version of it, and just bash, 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 bash across the anvil. You know. But a giant anvil, not like a baby anvil like that, but it'd be cos it Well it's hot. Just taper it off. And then that detail there, look, you know, all done by hand. You know? It's beautifully done. And then the little knob, the little rose head knob like that. And you, you might not be able to see it in the I don't know if you can see that, but it's riveted all the way through. So what they've done is they've, they've made a hole through here, which have been driven while it's hot in the anvil to punch a hole through. Um, and that piece has been obviously been beaten on the end of that. They wouldn't have metalwork and they've to create a pin. And it's been pushed through. And then what they'd have done is gone tap, 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 and flattened it right off. Well, they're happy with it. So there'd be, be flared. But this is obviously quite old. You see that that's worn <laughs> there, but I don't matter. Probably going to be exactly where the the fitting's going to be anyway. So it doesn't make any odds. Isn't that lovely. You see, well, I'm sure you can see why I'd want to use that and not, well, that. Yeah. You know. So that will be mounted somewhere about here, like that. Okay. Um, I've got to use some of the uh, new fittings because I, you know, unless I I could make some up, but. For the purpose of um, this live stream, or I've got to decide whether or not I'm going to remove it. I don't know. We'll probably what happens is we'll get used to it and we'll probably live live with it. So that's, that'll be mounted on there like so. That will be um on there like so. Then we've got this other arrangement. Be this. Okay. Now this bit is on this face. All right. And so now it works basic, basically, basically. Just like that. That'll be going right through. This will be on the other side of the door. Okay, the handle's on the other side of the door. All right, so it's the back of the door. And what that'll do is, as you twist that handle, it will, that's like a rocker. It will rock that up, and then the weight of it will just pull down again. Let's do that. So whatever way you twist it, it will lift the, it won't matter. More leverage one way than the other, I must say, but. Oh, God, I'm showing you that, and you can't see it, can you? What an idiot. Let me push this towards you. I'll, tell you. I'll demonstrate on the other side. What an idiot. Right. <laughs> Demonstration on the wrong side of the door. We're going to demonstrate it anyway. Let's move that out of the way. Right. Now this thing works. It's a stuffy latch, yeah? Quite simple. Okay. This will be mounted on the other side of the door, because this is going to be the hung side of the door, like so. Okay, and that will be on the post. Okay, and that, that's it latches into there like that. Okay, but how does it open from the other side? My God, I'm, I can't get my hands around the door. Will be shut. So what you have is you have a knob, and that's your knob, not that kind of knob, that knob. All right, and that knob has this um, rocker arrangement on the knobs. Every time you twist the knob, you get a rock. So if you can visualise that on the other side of the door, or imagine it on the other side of the door, but then you've got this piece here, be mounted like so. Now the idea being, that every time you twist this handle, you'll rock this up, or say for instance, uh, hang on, let me just whack. Right bit in there, just for demonstration purposes. <laughs> Right, so the weight of the, the actual fitting itself, so it'll, it'll always drop back down. What's up, Dora? What's up, Wally? Who's whining? Wally? You want one of these? Wally? Mm. Wally? There, yeah, boy. Not that. Look at there. Go on. He decided he's bored. Right, um. Yeah, so the weight of this is held down, but every time you twist this handle, the rocker will push 
this up, yeah? And then it'll drop back down again, and you know, every time you twist the handle. So from this side, you do it on that, and we'll put a big handle on it as well. But on the back face, you'll be using this knob, yeah, that'll be going through the door, and it'll effectively rock this up and down. It's a Suff Suffolk latch, is what we'd call it in the UK anyway. And that's the idea. But I'll do it. it's going to be on the other face, so... Oh, look, I made a hole. So it's a lovely old thing. So I've got to decide whether or not I'm going to use these other pieces of metal. But hey, oh. And also, where's my nut gone? There's a nut that goes with this. Oh, it's here somewhere. Right, let's put that there for a minute. Nut there for a minute. So we've done all those. They're good. We don't need that one. Oh, here's my nut. Right. So what we're going to do is going to install some of them old rivets. Oh, not rivets, old nails. Old iron. I say, any old iron. That goes in there. Oh, dear. Okay, carry on. What are you guys and girls saying? Hello, Ian. Good afternoon. Not just soldiers, so well, hello again from Portugal. Mad Monk, hello, buddy. Afternoon to you, too. Sorry I didn't see your stream yesterday. Was busy doing odd jobs around. Oh, no worries, Mad Monk. Crikey, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> I watched the sun rise this morning, says Duke. Was it good for your head? Was it good for your head? Okay, let's make put those pretty old nails in. <clears throat> Make it prettier. Right. I have waxed the door, but what I haven't done is polish it off. But I'm just going to need another coat of wax anyway, so just let it go off. Probably it's so damp at the moment. So, what I'm going to do just to simplify things so I don't have to be too I put it finicky and mark and stuff. Like that. To be honest, none of these nails will be in line anyway in real life. They'd be all over the place. They'd, they'd have whacked him in, you know, in line. So I'm going to put it just higher, just higher than the rail itself. And that way I know when I put my hinges on, the ends of these nails are not going to interfere with my hinges. But also what I'm going to do is I'm going to decide where I want these things to go. And I'm going to choose a, an old brad hole to poke some holes in. Um, and what I got first, that's a good point. I don't go crazy with them, you see. Now, we've got these big ones as well. See, they can mimic the bolts going right through the door. Because I'm not using bolts right through the door. I'm using quite long coach screws from the back. So, um, these ones can mimic one fixed bolt hole with a hinge. So, I'll use those ones. So, that'd be quite good. I have got a whopping great one as well, actually. Where is that? This one here, look. That's a big one. I've got another big one here, look. With, you know, oh, no, oh, a few big ones, and I've got a ginormous one. <laughs> Nuts, eh? So, ever so easy to do. Done this so many times now. The reason why I've got my little anvil here, put bits of metal on it, I don't mind. It causes a bit of um, reaction with the tannins. I don't care if I've got a few black spots on the door. That's added to the effect. So like I said, I've been using a bit of black boot polish in there just to soften up all these nasty bits. Boot polish is great. Especially to make sure it's got wax in it, sort of wax boot polish. You get different colours, you know, even red. <gasps> Don't do that. Don't use red, whatever you do. So, I'm just going to whack through these. Oh, I've got a cap, you've got one, two, three, four, five boards. So I'd need ten if I was going to do, um, ooh, another will. I don't think I'll have enough of that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. All right, so I can say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I would have enough, but I also want to put some diagonal on the door as well to mimic where the um, a diagonal brace is going to be. So I'll only put one in that one, for instance. I'll put two on the end here. 
Decisions, decisions. I don't necessarily want them all to be perfectly in line. They could be a little bit piggledy piggledy. I might just put one in that one instead too. And I'll put one in that one. Bring it down a little bit. Because they wouldn't be straight. Somebody there was a big hammer. Would have whacked them through and banged them over on the other side of the door with the clinched nails. I'll put one here. I'll put one here. Oh my god. Oh yes. I love these dovetails. I think they look so cool. And this is the open side of the door. This is a bit you're gonna see more separate through there. I do. If the nail's already short, they're not a problem. They're not going to go away. You know, they're not going to poke right through the actual rail itself. But you've got a long one like that. Long one like that. You have to be a little bit careful. Um, and also, you've got ones like this that are bent on the ends. So make you think an anvil. Break that off. It should just break off. There you go. And that pro that won't go all the way through. But I'm not going to try and whack them straight into the. Um, old oak because when they originally would have used these nails, these nails, like I said, they would be made on an anvil, big old, well, maybe 50 to 100 kilo hour anvil, and uh, been drawn on a hole in the anvil. And then the woodworker would, you know, they're not hardened nails, they're just they're soft, malleable. And um, the woodworker would have put the door together, but the mark difference is that door would not be seasoned. No. It will be green. Green oak, probably. And they'd allowed for that in, you know, um, because this construction wouldn't necessarily... Well, it would be been... This year in France, actually, it would have been used as... Um, in the house. Get rid of that number on the end. Look, it's, it's too long. It's so soft, you just keep bashing it. Make it so thin. Don't bash your fingers, because that hurt. Pair of pliers on the end, I'll find them and bend it off. Oh, here's a pair of pliers. And just bend it back, you know, you can stick it in a little vice. Do 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 do. Yeah, done. <laughs> hmm. Right, so you could try and drive them straight in, but this is seasoned oak. Originally, they're going to green oak. So all I'm going to do is get a battery drill. Oh, a battery drill. Yes, a battery drill. And a drill bit. Just help it. Do 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 do. Oh, any medium of just doesn't really matter, really, does it? Should be bit. Is is the hole bigger? Probably not. Look at that. A bit bigger than that. Let's go for that one. Not too big because obviously you want the you want the nail to stay in. All right. Right there. And what project? past the surface a little bit because as this wood shrinks I don't want them all sticking out so I'm being a bit aggressive Ugh. I don't care if I damage the surface a little bit it's, it's character you see character do 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 you know what I could take no, a bit of table could be on do, 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 do. And also it gives you the impression they're actually there to do a job. <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding myself, don't worry. If 
you want a bit of point on there, you can encourage your point. But it could do absolutely nothing. I'm not going to be able to get this below the surface because this piece of wood here, it's got a whopping great knot there. There's no way you're going to get that below the surface, it's not going to shrink there either. That's good. It just has character and age, like me. Has wrinkles, that's what it does, has wrinkles. Got one in there. We could put a bigger one in there if we like. That's what I do in the middle ones, I think. We'll put a nice big one there so it looks like it's with a hinge or something, Stubes. Right. right, this one's a bit. Ooh. Right, I'm not going to drive it in, so. Let's have a look. What am I doing? I've got to make sure the hole's big enough and I don't go right through. So um, it's got to be at least that depth. So not far off. If you want them falling out, you've always put a bit of glue on them. It's fine. The reason why I want to make sure it's the right depth because it's flat on the end isn't you not going to drive that into the bit of wood all you do is push a rail off the back so hopefully we can put ram that in there without causing any damage to the wood what we do though that's in wow <laughs> oh fakery i'm faking it i know you ladies know that do, 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 do. Where's my other drill bit gone? What? Oh, I was put over here. Yeah. I've had one hour of sleep. I know that feeling, buddy. I've comp uh, and I'm completely fine. I don't know that feeling, buddy. Not after one hour of sleep. Uh, da, 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 da. So, let's get another one in. Looking good. That one. Oh, Gone right through. That was a bit silly. I must be in the right, wrong place. Oh, yeah. am. Short one in there. Right. I need a shorter one. That's going to be a bit big. A short one. Not really. I have to make a short one. I'm too high. <laughs> Lovely. All right, you go a bit lower than Right, what are rivets? Right, so I don't want to show you. 
But like for instance, if you've got a hole and you want, want to repair a hole, it's a really simple way of doing it. But you want it to look sort of authentic in the sense of it looks meant to be there. Like it's deliberate. There's little things you can do. One is lots of fun nail holes, something the ideal one to show you on. That's been nail holes, but I can just make a hole. For argument's sake, I could just make a hole, can I? Just make a hole there. There's a hole there. But I don't know if there's a nail in it. Oh, so I've got a hole here then. Let's do a hole here. Or even a hole on, on the rail. Bom, bom, bom. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. That's proud. That's not. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to put a hole there. Let's make a random hole. There, right? Oh, no, I don't like that hole. Oh, what am I going to do about that? Oh, dear. You've got to decide yourself what you can do with that hole. All right? Got a hole. Bit of nasty damage there. Oh, dear. I'm going to get. I'm gonna grab a drill bit. I'm going to make the hole bigger. <laughs> right, and I know you think, oh, you'll put a bit of round dowel in it. No, nope. I'm not. That drawer looked big enough. Where's my other drawer? Do 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 do. A little chunk on that one. I don't know, look at that nasty mess. I'm not going all the way through. I hope you're not. How come I'm hitting metal? There's metal in the door, just there. That's bizarre. It's not even like right through the wood. That's not even where. That's bizarre. Bizarre, bizarre, bizarre. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a, bit, there's a lump of metal in the door, just there. And there is not a lump of metal on the other side of this door. It's not even in line where the actual screw holes, no, uh, nail holes are, because they're over here. Could be shrapnel. It's lead, is it? No, it's not lead. It's steel. Confused now. There's definitely not. No, it's nothing there. No, nope, nothing there. Bizarre. Could be anything. Could be an old nail broken off. Maybe. Anyway, we've got this hole there. I think it's just no, just a hole. Um. Well, I'm not going to try and make good that hole with. Uh, around dowel because it just you know it looks too modern so what we're going to do is we're going to find a square bit i'm driving it not that square bit because it's not big enough it needs to be the same size of that drill bit so if i get my verniers again whatever i've done with them over here um and the fact that i see the size of this drill bit probably half inch it's, well, it's about 12 mil Not half, it's 12 mil drill bit. So, um, then find myself a piece of wood at 12 mil. But it's not going to be round though. Bum, 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 bum. I'm just going to find a piece of wood. I can, I can do one off. Do one off. Sounds a bit weird. <coughs> it's not English. I'll tell you what, I've looked. Ah, I got an idle little pot of scraps over here. Oh, I found a bit. Ah, my puddy cat that I cut out yesterday. Or was it puddy cat cut the other day? The other day. Diff different puddy cat. Alright, so, um. I'll grab a block of wood I can bash on. Cut on. Or a chisel. If I had a chisel. There's a chisel. Also, what you could do with actually just cutting it off there, I suppose. So. Quick way to do that on down floor. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll be able to cut a twelve mil square thereabouts. I'm not be exact. Where's my pencil gone? In the house, it's in the house. A good pencil, is it? No, it's not, it's over there. Right, so what I'm going to do is just um, grab a mallet quite often. I use my little um, four hammer 
which is on the floor somewhere. Bum, 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 bum. So I'll use a mallet. I'm always losing my tools. The one that's like that. Oh, no, actually, what? Well, I'll just chop it down first. Right? It's not gonna be. It's not gonna be parallel sides or anything like that. No, no. What I do? What I do? Well, I'll move that. I'm gonna put that into a little bit of a taper. So I'll put it in the voice. I'm gonna do it with a hand plane or do it with a chisel. I'm just gonna taper it off. It's good that way. Check the hole. Yeah, it's good that way. I'm gonna taper it off in the other direction. Now you could take the corners off if you want to help on its way. It's there. And there. And there. Why not cut your fingers? Obviously. Right, just like that. So you create a little bit of a nugget. That should be about right. And the idea is, you should be able to drive it in the hole. That ain't going to be too wide. No, it's too, it's too wide or still not. Still too wide. <clears throat> you, you've got to be able to get, get it to start. If you can't get the start, you're not, you know, you're not going to get it in. That's just not going to... I'm taking chunks out of my voice now. You've got it's got to be narrow enough there to get there easy just to fall in the hole. You can same on the other side. So we're we're creating what I'm you can see what I'm doing, I'm just literally creating a square dial. But into a round hole. You can't get a square peg in a round hole. Oh yes, you dipping can. Alright, so that that's it, just like that. You can see that, just pushing the hole like so. Obviously, we want a bit of glue on there. Because as a wood shrink, it can pop out. There's a little bit of damage there while I split the wood. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab this. Just take that down there a little bit. But don't worry, I know I'm going past the stain. But we'll, we'll put a bit of stain there before I actually put the bit of wood in. That's because I had to split. I split, I split it out. You can do it all the way around if you like. I'm, not, I'm not, probably not going to. That's good. Right. Blow out the hole, don't do it like that. Get an airline and keep your eyes out of the way. If you blow down the hole with your eyes, in the way, with your mouth, you'll always blow stuff into your um, face. And that's where your eyes are. So we'll just make a bit of glue in there. Make sure you're on the sides. Not just in the bottom because a bit, there will be a void around the bottom of the of your plug because obviously the taper so you do need enough glue in there but you've got to be careful you don't put too much because it's going to ooze out everywhere but you can get rid of that obviously we just bash bash the hell of bash the hell of it bash, bash the hell out of it and the square hole the square plug will make the hole appear to be square Right, you'll be careful at this stage because I haven't put, I haven't stopped. Sorry, I haven't drilled all the way through. So obviously it's hydraulicing at the moment, and the glue's oozing out, but it's trying to hydraulic. But also, you can damage by pushing out, blowing out the back of the, the front, the other side of the door, because you're pushing against a flat piece of wood, and you, you could just burst, burst it out. So you, you know, as long as it's held in there, and if you all oh, that, do you? That's good. Then what I'll do is wait, I'll get rid of that glue. Be a little bit of water there when you're doing that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell that wax is working, look at that, resisting the, the water. Like so. Right, and I'll just get my my little uh, saw, which is here. And I'm not going to try and sort flush, I want it proud, yeah? An easy way to make it proud would be to use um, a little guide, another piece of wood that you can use as a guide. Um, depending on obviously how much you want to stick it. 
how much of it you want sticking out. I want that much sticking out. That'll do. So I can choose as a guide like so. And just I'm pushing down here. Dee -dee 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 -dee. But like I say. They're so useful. Those little um cheapy saws. But only for that purpose. I wouldn't use I wouldn't be trying to cut stop the source for anyway, it's different it's the wrong cut pattern for that. Yeah, wrong set on the blade. Um just doing joints, anything like that. But it's ideal for flush cutting. Then you just um take off these arises. Careful on the past stroke because you can split the end out. So I'll leave it a bit until I'll do the other way go the other way. And make sure your tools are sharp. La la la, there you go. Silly little feature, but still a feature, nevertheless. They just use a rag and more rag, more wax and stuff on it. They can look like a part of the door. Yeah, it's cool. Right, I think we'll put some studs on the other side of the door. I want to do the diagonal ones to uh, mimic the brace. Even though they're probably going to be a brace. Back over there. Oh. Uh, Bernard, thanks for your um on Twitter, mate. Uh, that, was, that was pretty good. Crikey, he really held him to account. He looks really squirmish. Yeah, Twitter. Um, Bernard shared something uh, in on Twitter with me, and it's um. God, the geezer from Royal Mile, I've got his name though. Literally just squirming in the seat. Labour MP was just um well he just crippled him. Held him to account. He was weighed and measured. Alright, maybe that's streaming. How's that going? That's going good. Yes, it's there. Oh, sorry, get back on the other camera. Oh <gasps> that look my funny hat. <laughs> So we're just putting up the door, basically, just doing little details on the door, just to make it more interesting. Totally pointless, apart from aesthetics. So um, oh, I need that in a minute, don't I? Let's make sure I'm going to do the other end now. Make sure I've got enough for that. So uh, it's just there to do. Well, I don't know really even the job, is it really, apart from... Well, I suppose it is a job. Aesthetics is a job, isn't it? You look pretty. Got to make it look pretty. Oh, am I pretty? Right, so. Well, camera's coming tomorrow. Oh. There you go. And I managed to find some software that allows me to make it easier to control the cameras. Oh, I ninjas. They are in here. Uh, okay, I'm just going to show you this flip ninjas. They, they also need cleaning up. Are they big enough? <laughs> Forged again. Oh, very, very old hinges to come off an old barn door. No, a small barn door. Probably actually it was a pig door, probably. But it's come off a door. So, um, we've got loads of this old stuff, you see. Because when you do this kind of work for people, you end up with all the nice stuff. Because they all want new, new rubbish. So, wait, these are the hinges, which will be mounted one probably around here somewhere. 
not covering up all my nice bits. That's in the inside. Oh, it's gonna be on the other, actually gonna be on the other side of the door, so that's not a problem. Um, so there'll be one mount there, but on the other side of the door, and the same on the other face. But also, you have um, these chunky old things, which I'm now coming to you. These. They go, they go into the beams. So all this stuff's got to be cleaned up and what have you. So it's, a med, it's going to be like a medieval door, isn't it, you know? There's some chains and stuff. We need some chains. But anyway, um, <laughs> so how are we fixing these into that? Because what they do is they create a hole and they just you drive the hell out of it. And they've got all got these little, look, I think you say it, there's little, these are little nicks there. They would have been barbs, effectively barbs that the forge would have put in this. As it was driven into the hole, They'd be gripping the side of the hole and trying to get them out again is a nightmare. Um, yeah, so that's. And then there's another sort of well, it's like a flat plate type one that you use in masonry work. But that would have gone to a wooden post. Mm. They've got that one as well. You can see the barbs a bit clearer on there actually, where they've been put on. So the likelihood is I'll be cutting them shorter. How I'll be fixing these in. Because our posts are four inches or hundred millimeters, there's you know I don't need all that, you know, unless I can drive that in into the wall, you know, because we've got a four inch post. But th what we're going to do is I'll drop probably cut that off. I'll cut a tapered hole, use first drill it out and then finish it off with a um, a chisel to create the taper. But I'll I'll drill a hole through the side of the actual wooden post. Right through this, obviously from wood to steel, um, not iron. Straight through the side of this, and I'll put a metal pin in, and that'll stop it from being able to pull out. So um, it sounds like a palaver, but it's actually really easy. I've done it loads of times. What happens to be what we use old stuff, you see? But it's gonna just, it's gonna be so much more in keeping, isn't it? But if I clean this up like that, you know, that's chalk and cheese, isn't it? Actually, one thing about this, I'm gonna just gonna grab my little uh, Lazy Susan and a can of clear lacquer and I'm just going to lacquer those bits before they start oxidising again. The bits we've already done. The only other thing about this is it's got a bit of a twist. I don't know if I'd better get a twist out. I'm going to leave it. So we're not a bit of lacquer on there as well. Look, it really brings out the you know, the, the idea of lack, it's just sort of rust. That's all, really. But it does actually bring the finish out. But you don't put too much on there, because you'll, you'll chip, and you don't want to chip, then it's not something horrible. You just want to protect it, really. Um. <laughs> really, I should have hung this up, really, shouldn't I? I've done this. I'm spraying lack all over my bench, over my uh, new door. I think I want to be in front of the camera. <laughs> right, so I'm going to put this back down again. Right, so can I put something underneath that? There, or there. I'll do. Ah, stick that in the hole. <laughs> That's how you do that one. So. So if you just come to to the stream, these handles here, these knobs are ones that I had, and they were literally covered in rust. Um, I didn't want to use new stuff because just, it just looks naff. Um, yeah, this is basically new stuff. You know, um, you can get old forged ones, but it costs a fortune. Yeah, new old forged ones. But let's do the back first, actually. Good aware, obviously. Might not even use this this old map. Completely buggered, really. Um, so I'll put them out of the way now. Uh, 
and these will be attacked with the angle grinder and the wire brush i'll have to use with angle grinder too big to put on the onto the uh bench grinder It'll take forever so now let's go to the other side of the news <laughs> right can you see my no probably not let's bring another camera oh the camera La da 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 da. Right, let's I'll tell you what. Bring that one back in. We'll move this camera a bit closer. Give you a different perspective. Looking forward to getting these other cameras. It'll be so cool. Right, bring it over there. Let's bring you down. Oh, I'll do it like that this time. Right, so um. I'm going to do pretty much do the same thing over here. So I'm just adding bits of old steel into the um, into the mix. One thing I, you know, I've been saving them up for a job. Oh, I know, I'll, I'll do something with them. They look really cool. Those old rusty nails. I think they will in this door. I've been holding on to them, holding on to them. And what's the point? You might as well use them. Right, let's grab my old. Anvil again. It's a little old anvil. And the old anvil. Right, uh oh, and, a, and a square. Which doesn't really serve much purpose, but the visualisation where my rail is. I don't want to put this on the edge of the rail. I might put on the top edge of the rail on these ones. I don't want them to interfere with the um actual uh I'll get worms out in a minute. With the bolts that will go for those hinges. I'm just going to put, you know, put one here, I reckon. And one there. Put one in that one. Yeah, I'll put one in that one. Ah, make sure I've got enough to do the other ones, see. The other one there. Uh, two in that one. Right, whack them in there then. Wouldn't normally hit my brattle actually with a metal hammer. Not normally a very good idea. Not at all. It's no marbles and brattle. When anyone's got the old tools for sale, I'm always there. You know. Usually when people die, unfortunately. <laughs> You know, the old wax. So the wax will build up in periods of time. Not good. Oh, you like it. Right, so I've got you. Let's move you over there. Okay, I need a little hammer. Where's my little hammer gone? I do have a hammer. Oh, it's over there. It's easy to lose stuff around here. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because I'm in an absolute mess at the moment. And uh, as you can probably see, right, I'm gonna put, I'll turn it, I'll put that one in first because that's gonna be the middle one here because that was um, is a bolt, it represents a bolt. Right, it's 10 mil, 10 mil probably do it. Oh, I'll go at eight, I think, or five and eight. I'll get you in a bit closer. There we go. There. La 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 la. I hope that my lip syncing was a bit better. I had to do. I had to play about with it a bit because it was um. There was a problem with the uh, synchronisation between the gob and the camera. It looked strange. By about two hundred milliseconds. Okay. Right, we're not the dee dum dee dee dum. Lovely. 
lovely. What? I mean, wincy wincy spider sat down beside you. and way. Go. Oh, will that go in? Or might be deep. Nope. Be deep in that. Good. Right, I've got to think about the diagonal brace. Now, if it was going to have a brace, because the door would be hung on this side, on this face, um, where you have, so it'd be hung there and hung over here, okay? The load, and that's the top of the door over there. So the load of the door is, is coming down that way. So when you put your brace in, the brace will come in across here to a fixed point and that'll be on the other side of the door so what I want to do now is to mimic where these braces are going to go more rose head nails and stuff look at the straight edge from there to there so you think on the other side of the door there'll be a brace I'm probably not going to be putting a brace on this door Probably, with those hinges, probably don't need to. It's so something big. So I'll put one about here. I'll put one in each. Door. In each. And we've got it. And maybe turn that one. One. Wait. Put two in that one. And one there. Right. Boom, 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 boom. So, pretty much doing exactly the same thing again. Put one there and one there. There's a random hole there where there's no nail. I want you might put one in there as well. We've got these big ones as well. We've got these nice big ones. We might think, might, might think about using. Might keep that one for another job. Might use that one. Put that in there. Hmm. Yeah, I reckon so. Anyway, let's do these ones first. I've got to be careful because the um. There's nothing behind this. I'm not going into a rail. That's obviously going to be too long. So what we need to do is um, shorten some of these. Could do it on an angle grinder before we quit it. Or we can use a cold chisel. Bolster. Use a bolster. That'll do the job. And a big hammer. Ooh, have I got a big hammer in there? Biggish hammer, that'll do. Ha! 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 Where did that go? <laughs> well, the bit I want went this way. I heard it hit something, which I think it hit that. Well, I don't think I'm going to be worrying about that for the moment. That will turn up when I try and hoover it up, it won't go up the hoover. <laughs> Tell you what I'm going to do this time, I'm going to hold 